My name is Ian Prince and I'm a senior consultant with Petronology and my field of expertise is decommissioning. Um, what is my background? Uh, where do my expertise come from? Well, I've been in the oil and gas industry for more than 40 years, um, the last 20 years of which has been involved with decommissioning. I even, I would say, boast or give reference that I'm a veteran of Brent Spar. Now, Brent Spar was a particular installation which captured worldwide um, knowledge and worldwide um, coverage because of issues associated with decommissioning. It is, it's actually changed the world when it comes to understanding of decommissioning. Okay, so back to the course, right? Um, what does this course entail? Um, what are the key benefits, etc.? Perhaps the easiest way for me to demonstrate this, uh, what the benefits of the course are is to take you through some typical questions that are often asked. Well, decommissioning is the late life um, activities of a redundant oil and gas installation. It starts roughly, you could say, 10 years before an asset has finished producing. And then as an asset develops, it goes into what is late life. It's becoming mature, but someone can see on the horizon that uh, it will reach a point in time in the near future where it will be no longer economic viable, viable to produce. Okay, so that's your late life feed. So I then take the delegates through the late life process into development of strategy, planning, estimating. Because one key point of uh, decommissioning, it doesn't bring in any revenue. It's just a very, very high cost. So one, you could say, key learning of this, and you could say one is that all delegates are interested in, how can one reduce the cost of decommissioning? That all things will be clear, I would say, during this particular process. Okay, so we have gone through the strategy and the planning. Then I take the delegates through to, in a real life situation, preparing for decommissioning, organization, management, all the key activities leading up towards the final phase of execution. Once we've processed that, we get into the execution. I look at the different types of options that are for decommissioning. Touch on the legislation, the appropriate legislation. Um, the type of equipment that could be used. We then move from there into, this is the final stages where an installation has been um, decommissioned and it comes on shore for maybe recycling or reuse, etc. And then we move on from there and the project is finished. And it comes to, we would say, tidying up all the loose ends, satisfying all the various re regulators, etc. So the closeout, both for regulators and for companies, right? Now, who should attend this course? Well, in my experience, anyone who has an interest in decommissioning within the oil and gas industry. Now, in the past, the delegates include regulators, They've included specific different discipline engineers, safety, structure, etc. Accountants, lawyers, anyone who has an interest would find this course is interesting because it covers the whole process of decommissioning, every aspect. The benefits to staff are quite clearly it gives them additional skills and learning about um, a high active activity that's more and more becoming aware in terms of decommissioning. What are benefits to companies? Well, for companies, they're gaining more knowledge, uh, areas perhaps they can develop their business. Okay. The, as part of the process, we do carry out a number of exercises. Now, these exercises are real life exercises based on a theoretical field that I've developed. So every exercise is typical of what would take place in decommissioning through the whole process of decommissioning. The delegates get an opportunity to discuss the outcomes and we usually split into a number of teams so there can be interaction between um, the different groups to talk about the outcomes. Drawn quite actively on case studies. Now the case studies relate uh, in most cases to particular um, 
projects that I've worked with and I share that knowledge. In conclusion, what I've done is I've taken you through the outline, the broad outline of the course. Um, I would just like to uh, kind of share some of the um, other activities within there. At the beginning, each of the delegates will fill in a questionnaire. And the questionnaire is a number of questions just to gauge their understanding. Uh, yes, no, or don't know. At the end of it, on the final day, they fill in exactly the same. Now, without question, the benefits uh, they've gained from the course are clearly shown by their increased knowledge. So I would say, again, without question, the learning benefits to the attendees have been significant. And they all leave, I would say, with a better awareness of decommissioning and can pass that knowledge on to their colleagues and their organisation. Thank you.